All right, so before we get started deploying our application, deploying our service, and deploying our ingress controller, let me zoom in here a bit, you're gonna have to install Ingress Nginx on your Kubernetes cluster of your choosing. Now, I'm using AKS, but in all reality, you can run this on any type of cluster. So you can create your namespace, you can add the Ingress Nginx Helm repo, and then you can install Nginx here. Now, the only thing that you'll, of course, be changing is where it says Azure here, you'll just rip that piece out. But this Ingress Nginx controller that you're installing from Helm, it's gonna work on any type of Kubernetes cluster. So with that, let's start deploying our application and our Ingress controller. In one of the previous videos, we went through the Ingress fundamentals, which was really just a theoretical view of how Ingress works. Now let's go ahead and go over it from a hands-on perspective. Now to do that, I have a demo app here and I'm using AKS or Azure Kubernetes Service as my environment. You could actually literally use any environment that you want for this. This is just a containerized application. It's like a hello world for AKS, but you could run it on Minikube, EKS, GKE, whatever you'd like. I'm just using AKS because that's what I'm using. So let's go ahead and go over the app. Now this is a very just basic literal hello world app. It has one replica. It's using this hello world container image and it's going over port 80. And then for the service, we're gonna be using the deployment that we're creating here. And we're gonna be going over port 80 and it's gonna be a cluster IP. So let's go ahead and deploy this. We'll run kubectl apply minus F deployment.yaml. And then we'll do kubectl get service, right? We see that cluster one or the AKS hello world one is running. Notice here how there's no external IP because we're gonna be using the ingress controller. We're on kubectl get deployments. Right, and as we can see, our deployment is up and running here. So now let's take a look at the ingress controller itself. And I clearly spelled ingress wrong. There should be two S's, but that's okay because the code will still work. So <laughs> let's take a look at this here. We're going to be using the ingress resource from the networking.kas.io API over version one of that API. We're gonna be specifying a name here. We're gonna ensure that we're not doing SSL redirect. We could because we're actually using a cloud load balancer when we deploy this. So when we deploy the ingress controller because we're in AKS, anytime you have like a load balancer that's deployed in a cloud, so AWS, GCP, Azure, et cetera, a cloud load balancer does get deployed. Same thing for if you, for example, deploy a Kubernetes service as a type load balancer, you will get a cloud load balancer automatically deployed for you. So as we can see, we're gonna be going to the default path, so just the root of the URL, and then we're specifying our service here over port 80. So again, if we just look at our service here, AKS hello world one, AKS hello world one. So now let's go ahead and deploy. kubectl apply minus F ingress.yaml. All right, and as we can see, that ingress controller was created. If we run kubectl get ingress, we have the name of the ingress controller right here, which is also specified on line four here. Let's do kubectl describe ingress. All right, and as we can see, this goes to the name, the namespace for the ingress controller. And then as you can see here, the back end is the AKS Hello World One app. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clear my screen here and I'm gonna run kubectl get namespaces. Notice here how ingress is available. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run kubectl get all namespace ingress basic. And notice here how there's this external IP address. That's the external IP address to our load balancer. So in a few moments, and it does take a little bit, uh, maybe like a minute or two, maybe three, depending. But once the ingress controller is fully up and running, you're gonna see this external IP address associated with it. So if I run kubectl get ingress again, now notice here that there's the IP address available. So if I go ahead and if I copy that, I'm gonna head over to a web browser really quick, and then I'm gonna paste it in, and here we have our application. And that's how you can get started with ingress on AKS or any other Kubernetes cluster. Thank you so much for watching.